Okay, so we are going to complete an assignment this week called Fill in the Missing Parts. Um, so this is a classic kind of middle school lesson. Um, you may have done it before in sixth grade, but um, if so, then this is your chance to do it again in a different, more interesting way because we're more advanced now. So um, you can see that this person found a magazine photo and they ripped out a section of it. I would like to see that you have um, ripped away at least half of the picture. This person, I feel like, may not have really met the halfway requirement. This looks like more like one-third of the picture. But I wanted to show it to you because I want you to see that you don't have to make it look um, like a photorealistic uh, rendering of what was there before. This is all done in stippling, you can see, in black and white. And that's fine. You can be creative about how you fill in the missing parts. So um, what if, you know, you wanted to get extra creative here and add some things in that are not what were in the photo. So maybe there are, you know, little creatures <laughs> flying out. Uh, maybe there's a rip in the, in the ball and things are coming out of that. Or, you know, you can get a little crazy and creative like that if you want, um, rather than just doing a photorealistic replica of what was there before. But if that's what you want to do, then like this, then that's totally fine too, because that in itself is a really great exercise to practice um, drawing what you see. So I don't want you to be tracing. I want you to be doing your best to um, draw in the missing parts freehand. Um, but again, you, you're totally free in terms of what kind of materials you want to use, if you want to do it in color, if you want to... Um, add your own little flair to the missing parts, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's up to you. So you can see on my post I have a bunch of different examples of different ways that you could handle this. So this actually was an image of somebody else's drawing and then that was ripped away and then filled in with their drawing. So it doesn't have to be like a photo. Um, but it, it's going to be an image that you didn't make. You rip away at least half of it and you complete the missing parts to the best of your ability. I um, see that most of the work you're handing in is really awesome and I can tell that you're putting a lot of effort into it. Um, and I would like to see that continue. We only have a few more weeks of this left. Um, so, and you only have one assignment a week and you know, you're still getting credit, credit for an honors course. We want to make sure that you're prepared for eighth grade. So I want to see that you are really giving this your all, um, just like you've been doing so far. So keep up the hard work. All right, guys.